Reno, Nevada, it's time for Renegades Hockey. A very pleasant good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be. I'm Philip Goodman. Well, this is it. The regular season comes to a close tonight as your Reno Renegades take on the Mansfield Barracudas. Last night, the Renegades fought off the Barracudas with a 4-2 win, led by Matt Robinson's two goals and Justice Jury's 21 save effort. Reno is 16-9-2 overall, all 16 wins coming right here at Reno Ice. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be emotional as well. And thank you for spending your Saturday night with us. This exciting weekend action against the Mansfield Barracudas is brought to you by Key Acura of Reno. Key Acura of Reno provides a vast selection of new and used vehicles, exceptional car care, and customer service with a smile. Key Acura of Reno is committed to providing amazing customer experiences. Visit Key Acura of Reno just two miles north of Reno Ice on Virginia Street and online at keyacuraofreno.com. Who's in, who's out? Brought to you by Opening Solutions, LLC. You can't get in or out of the rink without good commercial doors. Opening Solutions, LLC has all your commercial and residential door solutions. Out again tonight, Jasper Cork and Barnley. He was a two-game rental. Hopefully we get to see him again next season. Simon LeBlu, Sobieski, Pavel Pustovoy unavailable. And also under the weather, Ramsey Anderson. Ramsey, I hope you're resting well at home and uh, logging in to watch and uh, you can get in on the chatter. I was hoping you are going to get a couple of points, maybe drop the gloves tonight, but we'll have to catch you next season. We're going to miss you, Rammer. Also out of the lineup, Justin Sand is attending to Family Matters. Our thoughts are, and condolences go out to Justin Sand and his family. Backing up, Justice Jury in net tonight will be Perry Jacobs. The 20-year-old Sparks native has been playing in the U.S. Premier Hockey League and in 29 games over two seasons has a 14-9 record and a save percentage around 91. If this game gets out of hand, we might see Perry Jacobs make his debut in the third period. Back in the lineup, Weston Nash. He missed a few weeks. Matt Robinson off the IR had a, uh, and what missed last weekend. He had a couple of goals last night. Tony Tyrell back in action after a trip away and Tony Tyrell got engaged in New York not Matt Robinson my bad and Julian Herrera still in the lineup this weekend after missing it last weekend also making his Ice Raiders debut tonight is Ellis O'Dowd Ellis O'Dowd will don at number 97 the Santa Barbara native also played on the Valencia Junior Flyers then made his way to Lake Tahoe Academy he plays a league here and he coaches the youth teams with Andrew Peterson the Ice Raiders injury report is brought to you by High Sierra Restorative Health. Take control of your health now and your future by going to HighSierraHouseCalls.com and let Emily Alina save you thousands in preventative health care. On the IR for your Ice Raiders, Hunter Getchell, broken, broken clavicle, and Dana Navratil is on the IR with an upper body injury. Still waiting for the refs to come out. Silver Dollar Course is ready to go. And just as I say that, here come the refs. Before this game begins, please rock that thumbs up button and bang that subscribe bell. We are nearly at 1,000 subscribers. So if it's your first cast catching an Ice Raiders game, subscribe to our channel now.
People still making their way into the building, sold out crowd here.
this time, if you are able, please rise and remove your caps as we honor our servicemen and women around the world with our national anthem. Here to perform the anthem tonight is the Silver Dollar Chorus. We got it done. The officials for tonight's contest, contest are Kevin Slattery and Chris Grayson with the armbands. Jacob Fillion, last night's timekeeper, is getting the call up to work the lines alongside John Rossi again. I'm gonna try not to cry. End of the season always gets me emotional. Darn right, let's give them hell, boys. Soby, wish you were here just to be a part of the action. And tonight's game brought to you by Key Acura Reno is underway. Ice Raiders win the draw to start the game just like they did last night. And the outlet pass misses. Charlie Montgomery goes off of his stick. And Barracudas get it in deep, but Gano sends it back around and out. Sent right in on Giori and with no aqua jerseys in front of him, he will leave it for his defense. The Ganol, or excuse me, the Herrera line gets to stay out there for a little extended time for one more breakout chance. But the Barracudas take it away. They've got a two-on-one developing. A shot from the left side to save. Rebound is loose, and it'll be kicked out by Ellis O'Dowd wearing number 97. Montgomery 
nearing the end of his shift. He gets a shot away and it goes wide. Bobby Watson fresh on the ice. Picks it up from the right wing from behind the net. Carries it around. Left point for Jerron. Jerron back into the corner for Watson in front. Actually, that was in the corner for O'Dowd. It was Watson that was coming down the slot. It comes to Nash for a wrister that deflects wide. Hit a stick on its way to the net. And then Bobby Watson takes down a Barracuda at the Barracuda blue line as Manfield, Mansfield gets the puck in deep. In the neutral zone, Mansfield will regroup. Puck deflected and lost sight of it under or over to this giant brimmed hat. And it bounced in the neutral zone. And now we get some pushing and shoving. Hunter Sign and Christopher Alexander going at it again. I wonder if we're going to get matching minors here. Let's see. So, offsetting roughs, nothing goes on the board. Time in at 18.20. 16.20 and a whistle, five on five. Two, 88. What? It's five, it's five on five, that's what they told me. If they only, they said five. So no, we're gonna go. I thought you wanted five. Okay, so, well, 16, 1620, they're out. I just asked Slattery and he said five. Ice Raiders penalty number two, Hunter Sign, and Mansfield penalty number 88, Christopher Alexander. Two of the teams for roughing, time of the penalties, 1820. Both skaters out at 1620. Well, that was confusing. One referee said five on five. I flashed five and he said yes. And now they're playing four on four. So it's not on the board. We've already started. No problem. 1620 and 1620 that are out. No whistle. No whistle. That was confusing. And right on the doorstep, they score! Bobby Watson leading the charge back, four on four. And the Ice Raiders break the ice first.
Sorry, I've been off the whole time. Sorry, Jim. Things got a little wacky there in the, uh, in the box here. Good. Hopefully you guys didn't hear all that madness. Uh, so what did you miss? Uh, let's see. The, uh, the penalty was for a trip, but you probably heard that through Jim's mic, and it's a Brewers cabinet power play. First one for Reno on the night. They were they were one for two last night. I beg your pardon. Jake Minton with it. Minton wearing number 21 this weekend. As both players are out, well done, Jeremy and Jeff, for knowing 16-20 without the whistle. So that was a four on three penalty power play for a moment. A miscommunication by the referees to uh, us here in the score box about whether it was five on five or four on four. That's probably why I turned off the mic. Dumped in by Reno, cleared right back, back out by Mansfield. Fans getting into this one early with the Let's Go Reno chant and their fans up. Or their team up by a goal. Full strength Mansfield. They get their man out of the box in the pass. Gets away from Weston Nash at the left point. Ahead for Ellis O'Dowd wearing number 97. Oh, Dowd whips the pass back to Robinson, whose shot just goes wide. Nice drop pass by the young man from Santa Barbara. And uh, O'Dowd with a good defensive back check to step in front of Kyle Holland and take the puck away. Sent in on Wydock, and he will cover for a whistle. No Simon Choo Choo Blue this weekend. He and Sobieski are out in Roseville doing the Battleborn Hockey Camp. Uh, uh, drive by Barba deflects right into the glove of Whitehawk for another whistle. Face off one by Reno again. Ba Barracuda's got the best of Reno in the face off circles last night. Seems pretty even so far. Tom Jekyll, our statistician, will have the exact numbers at, for you at the intermissions. Barracudas with a chance and a save made with blue jerseys crashing through the crease. And Tony Tyrell with an extra shove on Alexander trying to clean up the garbage from the crease. I think through all of the madness, I forgot to announce Bobby Watson's goal. Tom, what was the time of Bobby Watson's goal? That I'm pretty sure I did not announce it. Now Hutchison is out there, so watch out Barracudas if Hutch has to handle business. And then Hutch sends a Barracuda barreling into another one. 1748. We'll announce it at the next whistle. We'll just say we were getting the corrections on the at assists. Renegades goal scored by number four, Bobby Watson. Assisted by number 84, Roger Hutchison. And number eight, Weston Nash. Time of the goal, 1748. Ice Raiders goal scored at even strength four on four by number four, Bobby Watson, assisted by number 84, Roger Hutchison, and number eight, Weston Nash. That was a dynamite TNT yard service goal, and I was a little slow on that goal song by Taste of Chicago. Oh, and Roger Hutchison nearly sent a Barracuda to the hospital with a shoulder there. But the guy in blue got out of the way from the train in white. Uh, head for Hutch, but it goes off of his skate. And it's stolen in the neutral zone by Tyrell. 
And Tyrell takes the offside, and this will, is he pointing all the way back down? Is it gonna go intentional? Nope, it's just gonna stay at the line. Face-off controlled by Reno, now Bobby Watson, his shot from the left side is saved by Wydock. Gano gets it in deep for Watson. And Watson's follow through might have clipped the Barracuda up high, no penalty. When it's a follow through, here's Peterson, his shot goes right into the crest of Whitehawk for another whistle. Bobby Watson got the goal, Jan. Roger Hutchison and Nash got the helpers. Face-off one by Reno, taken by Peterson into the corner, and he gets thrown to the ice. Barracudas carry it out uh, across the Ice Raiders blue line. They get around Bobby Watson, who was coming up to pinch, but right there to back check and protect the slot was Hunter Sign. A shot save, rebound, bounces over to the stick of Tim Hoffenkamp. And now taken by Watson. Watson gets taken down on the play. And we are going to get offside says Jacob Fillion. I know Marcina, it's tough to get over the hill. Actually, are you in uh, San Joaquin as well? It's tough to get a ticket here. Even for the players, there's only so many seats to go around. Minton ahead for Garrity. Garrity couldn't get around the stick check of Chase Deacon, and then Garrity slams Deacon into the boards. Puck comes out of the zone. Gano drops it back for his D partner, Peterson. Peterson will bring it back and regroup for Gano. Can't give Gano that much time and space. He fires low, and it's kicked away by Wydock. Into the corner. It's rimmed around. Comes back to the point for a shot, and nearly finding Robinson back door was Garrity at the point. Then Robinson sends it softly on Wydock, who covers. Twelve twenty-eight to go, first period. Ice Raiders with a one-goal lead, four-on-four four skating when Bobby Watson scored. Ice Raiders do not win this draw. It is taken away by the Barracudas, and they get it out past the red line and dumped in. Weston Nash gets to it first. He flips it right back to where it came from. And the Barracudas will try to break it out. Sauce pass knocked down by a Reno stick. No high stick. Play will continue. Weston Nash has it. I forgot to give you Coach Tukey's three keys to the game brought to you by Kiaki or Reno. Solid D all over the ice is what he wants. We just saw that with Hunter Signs back check a moment ago. Composure, composure, composure. So far, Hunter Sign gotten wrapped up. Uh, that, that still qualifies. And then play with pride tonight. Last game. Two on one, developing the other way. Weston Nash forces the shooter to take a bad angle shot, and Jory makes the save. Johnny Garrity gets around the Barracuda four checkers and gets it in deep. Garrity gets it back himself, throws it to the middle for Tyrell, who scores! Tony Tyrell coming down the slot, picks a corner on Wydock. And it is 2-0 Reno. Over the blocker, post to post. Matty Robinson also gets a helper on the play.
Our timekeeper tonight is Danny. It's his first Ice Raiders game in the box with me. Poor kid, he's got to deal with me and all this madness. I should announce the goal here as soon as uh, get a moment here. Don't want to miss another one. Here's Tony Tyrell down low for Julian Herrera. Actually along the half wall, I beg your pardon. Herrera spins away from pressure and has it poked away for O'Dowd to do battle with. Ice Raiders goal scored by number six, Tony the Tornado, Tyrell. Assisted by number 25, Johnny Hockey Gay. And number nine, Matt Robinson. Time of the TNT Yard Service goal, 11-17. Ice Raiders goal scored by number six, Tony Tyrell. Assisted by number 25, Johnny Garrity. And number nine, Matt Robinson. Hey, 11-17, that's my birthday, hooray. That goal song brought to you, of course, by Taste of Chicago. Well, was icing against the Ice Raiders, AKA Renegades tonight. And the Ice Raiders can't get it out of their zone yet. Charlie Montgomery doing battle behind the net. It rolls, comes in front, actually a backhander gets through Giori. Tim Hoffenkamp took it away from Reno and was able to get it past. 2-1, the Barracudas have trimmed the lead. They're giving the goal to Michael Tatum and the assist going to Tim Hoffenkamp. Barracuda's goal scored by number 12, Michael Tatum, assisted by number 15, Tim Hoffenkamp. Time of the goal, 10-19. Barracuda's goal scored by number 12, Michael Tatum, assisted by number 15, Tim Hoffenkamp. Time of the goal, 10-19. And the Ice Raiders get it right back. Nathan Hogue. A quick response. The righty down on the crease. Chips it far side. And it's back to a two goal lead. Well, that developed quickly. Scored by number 10, Nathan Hogue. Assisted by number 27, Zach Foggerin. And number 84, Roger Hutchison. Time to roll, 9.54. Ice Raiders goal scored by number 10, Nathan Hogue. Assisted by number 27, Zach Foggerin. And number 84, Roger Hutchison. Time to roll, 9.54. That goal brought to you by TNT Archers and that goal song by Taste of Chicago. Got to give all our sponsors all their props in the last game of the season. And we're going to do this face off again. The players behind the linesman encroaching a little bit. 3 1 with 9 31 to go. Roger Hutchison making his case for a star of the game. Already with two apples on the night. Face off one cleanly by Mansfield. A shot from the right side, saved by Giori. And he thought he had the loose puck covered, but didn't. It's played up to Ellis. Ellis plays it out of trouble back to himself and creates some time and space to get it out. Ahead for Bobby Watson. Watson facing two defenders, gets through him and scores! Bobby Watson stick handles through a phone booth and roofs it on Whitehawk. It's four to one. Amazing bangles by Red Hot Bobby Watson. 44 seconds the goals. The young shepherd lurking on 10 toes. Hunter signed with a helper along with Bob, uh, Morgan Ellis. 
Even Bobby Watson's got a little grin on that one. How did he get through that defense? Wow. Renegade goal scored by number four, Red Hot Bobby Watson. Assisted by the young shepherd lurking on ten toes, Hunter Sign. And at number 81, Morgan Ellis. Time with a goal, 9-10. Renegade's goal scored by number four, Bobby Watson, assisted by number two, Hunter Sign, and number 81, Morgan Ellis. Time to goal, 9-10. Same line stayed out. They nearly got another one, and now they create a turnover almost, taken back by Mansfield, and then Hunter Sign gets a stick on it. 4-1. The Ice Raiders lead. Yeah, I'm going to flip-flop with names. What's up, Chris Butera? As a shot goes wide. Ice Raiders still on the attack. A drive by Nash goes off the glove, and we get a stoppage in play. I'm not sure why. Did the net get dislodged? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. No, nope. no penalties. That looks fine. Nobody went over to fix it. Uh, okay, maybe Bryson lost sight of the puck. Face off one by Mansfield, but turned over to Geron. Garrity overskates it, comes to Geron at the point. He sends it around the boards. Behind the net for Minton. Minton opens up to face the play, carries it around to the half wall, cycles it back down into the corner. Pass comes into the middle. And I couldn't see over Jacob Fillion to see where the puck was for a moment. Puck squirts away from Johnny Hockey. And this will not go far enough for icing. Tony scored a goal for Declan. Did he, did he call it? Did he say, kid I'm, or son, I'm going to get one for you? That'd be super rad. And then Mitten throws a body at Kevin Ely as Ely dumps in the puck. Ice Raiders take it away. Sauced ahead for Herrera. Herrera is able to get it into the zone onside. He's got help left side. It's in the feet of O'Dowd, and O'Dowd couldn't pull the trigger backhand with his back to the net. Barba wards off a Barracuda and gets it to Tyrell, who gets it in deep. Puck deflects off Montgomery into the corner. Sent around the boards, pinching in is Tyrell. Tyrell will shield the puck with his body and spin it around. Uh, around the corner it goes, held in for a moment, but off the skate of a Barracuda and out of the zone. O'Dowd with a wrister, and it's blockered into the end boards. Behind the net, O'Dowd chases after it, doing battle with the Barracuda. And nearly stolen by Herrera, but the Barracudas will skate it through center. Montgomery with a good back check. Forcing the Barracuda into the corner, and then that's Tim Hoffenkamp who gets pasted into the boards. Puck comes into the middle, and a shot goes off a stick, or that was off the paddle of Giori. Adam Barba taken down hard, looks back up to see who will be going after, and now a shot gets blocked away and cleared out of the zone. Under six minutes to go, first period, all Ice Raiders, four goals in the period. Barracudas get it into the zone. Remy Kessling gets a shot away, and that's why. Back up to the point, Nathan Hogue got a skate on it. Now right in front, a save made by Giori. And again, it's loose. I thought Giori had it covered, but he did not. And play continues. Turned over in the neutral zone. Barracudas send it right back in. Sent to the net, but intercepted by Hutchison before it got to him, and Hutchison gets taken down. The puck squirts over to a Barracuda stick, and Mansfield will restart their breakout. Poked away by the long reach of Alex Gano, and now Hutchison kicks it to himself onside. He sends it back to the middle for Gano, and it's cleared into the bench.
Bobby Watson wins the draw right back to Gano, whose stick explodes as he took the wrister. Morgan Ellis disrupts the pass in the neutral zone, preventing Mansfield from gaining the zone with speed. Andrew Peterson picks up the puck. Over for Ellis. Battled for in front of the Zamdor. And sent around the corner. Tried to work a give and go, but right there to prevent the shot again was Andrew Peterson. Now Hunter sign for Bobby Watson off of his skate. Right to Kevin Ely. From the red line, it's driven in. Bounced off of Giori's glove, off his face into his glove, and now he covers for a whistle. Face off to the left of Giori, who has had a marvelous season for the Ice Raiders, making nearly every road trip. I wish I had all the stats. Oh, Sunter Sign is behind the D. It's a one-on-one -on -one now. His shot is saved by Wydock and held on with no reinforcements there. Bobby Watson having a conversation with his face-off combatant. I wish I could see through the fishbowl of that player and what... Couldn't tell if he was smiling or laughing or not, or if it's heated. Well, no extras, so must not have been that bad. Bobby Watson from Oklahoma might know some of these Texas folk. Everyone in the Midwest that plays hockey seems to know a lot of guys. Played up to the blue line, held in by Jerron, and it made it on net, kicked away by Whitehawk. Cross ice outlet connects. Barracudas get into the zone. They can't get around the body of Jerron, and then Giori sweeps the garbage out of the crease. Still held in, though, by Mansfield. And they get it right in front for a chance, and it never made it on net because of an active renegade stick. Behind the net, it's battle for it. Comes in front for a backhander. It's still loose, and a kick save by Giori. Another save by the Yoga Master doing the splits. And now it's sent out. And it's going to go all the way down. It's going to roll towards the netliner, but not on net. And we get an icing against Reno. A couple of brilliant saves by Justice Giori. Jesse Vaniski, I did see your comments at the end of the game. Thanks, bud. And we did give that third star to Morgan Ellis last night. You rock, bud. Rocking the handlebars. You'd be proud of these right now. Face off to the left of Giori. Is poked to the blue line and then gloved out of the zone by Mansfield. No hand pass because he played it to himself and then Reno touched it. <clears throat> Barracudas get it through the neutral zone. They see Johnny Garrity coming at him and so they'll dump it in. Picked up by Tyrell. He'll reverse it for... Garrity, Garrity to Mitten. Mitten off the far sideboards for me, near to you. And it's collected at his own blue line by Johnny Garrity. Garrity gets through the stick checks of a couple of players, but the Barracudas managed to take it away. Played behind Barba by Rutger Kessling. Two brothers, two sets of brothers for the Barracudas. Kessling and the Kesslings and the, uh, who did I forget already? The Deacons, Chase and Grant. Not twins, just brothers, no Sedins. Under two minutes to go, first period, Reno with a 4-1 lead. Uh, Brendan, it's gonna take me a while to do that recap. I'll get that for you as soon as the period ends. Here's Tony Tyrell hopping through the middle. And now he gets it down low for Robinson. Robinson for Garrity, right side, back to Tony Tyrell. But he couldn't handle that pass, and the Barracudas will get it out. One-on-one, -on -one, Gano with Michael Tatum. Tatum tries to shoot around the legs of Gano, and it goes off the skate and out of play.
Face off one by Reno now. Charlie Montgomery with O'Dowd, two on two, getting some help by the trailer. Morgan Ellis, Ellis tried to return it to Montgomery who had his stick neutralized cleanly on the play. Montgomery whips it back for Herrera, behind the net for O'Dowd. Up high for Peterson. He walks it to the middle and fires off the glove of Wydock. One minute remaining in the first period. You guys notice that trend with Peterson whenever he picks it up to the point? As soon as he gets it, without hesitation, he walks it to the middle of the ice, looks for a lane, looks for traffic, looks for an easier play, because what's he going to do with it at the point as it bounces in on Giori? As he, no, they, the Barracudas do. I mean, sure, you can try to launch it, but he'll get a better angle on net and a better chance at a deflection through the middle of the ice. Plus, he's already back in good defensive position if something happens turnover-wise. A uh, shot from that same high slot is saved by Giori. Kevin Ely with the try. Jan, did you just go back and watch Bobby's top shelf goal? That was filthy. Face off one cleanly by Mansfield. They get a shot on net and it bounced off Giori and stays in play. Hogue fights off a check and gets it out for Foggerin. Zeff gets an honorary assist for lending this ass kicking hat tonight. Again, thank you so much. And with 13 seconds left, number 13 has it on his stick. And this will be offside ahead of the play. One of the hats the coaches have, uh, probably at any country western store. Uh, or the Nest, go see what they've got for you at the Nest. If you want to invest in a good used cowboy hat, probably up in Virginia City. And are we getting a penalty? We are. It's gonna be a slash against the Barracudas, I believe. They're the ones arguing. With one second left, slashing is the call on number 15. With only half a second left. Well, we'll just wait till the drop of the puck. Uh, they're not going to pull Giori, even though I've seen Tyler Toffoli score a goal with half a second left. It'd be bang, bang. Let's see how they line up. Let's see, Peterson is the lefty. And there wasn't a chance to get a shot off. He didn't come back to him. Barracuda's penalty to number 15, Tim Hoffenkamp. Two minutes more slashing. Time of the penalty, 19 minutes, 59 seconds. At the end of 20 minutes of play, Barracuda's won. Your Renegades, four. All right, let's see what business do we got to handle here. Bear with me, Jim. There's a lot to manage down here today. Big thanks to Key Acura Reno for making this weekend series happen and those sweet Renegades jerseys. And we will give them a proper shout out. 
This weekend series is brought to you by Key Acura of Reno. Key Acura of Reno provides a vast selection of new and used vehicles, exceptional car care, and customer service with a smile. Key Acura of Reno is committed to providing amazing customer experiences. Visit Key Acura of Reno just two miles north of Reno Ice on Virginia Street and online at keyacuraofreno.com. When the partner strikes during the game, head down to the roundabout road concession here at Reno. Jim, do we need to take a break? You're our technical director. We're going to take a break. We'll handle business here inside the rink. Uh, Coach Tukey has laryngitis, so we will not have story time with Coach Tukey. Uh, we'll see about doing a player interview coming out of the box. Depends on how wacky it gets down here doing everything. Chris Payne has Aces duties, to, duties tonight. Sorry he can't be here for the last regular game, last game of the regular season, but glad you're here spending your time with us. We'll take a timeout, and we'll come back for the second period right here on YouTube. We needed some extra help around the restaurant, so we hired some new staff. It's going good. Hey, Maddie, give me two pucks, a side of sticks, and a cold one. Make it fast. Coming right up. Hey, can we get the baseball game on? No. It'd be a lot easier if you just drop the gloves. Oh, you want to go, buddy? I'm gonna need a Zamboni. Hey, can I get a water? Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Here you go, my man. I guess just like our beer, hockey is better on ice. Battleborn Hockey School is back. The West premier hockey camp for adults and kids. We're thrilled to announce the return of one of our most popular camps. Battleborn Hockey School's Power Skating Camp. This two-day program, designed for both adults and kids, is dedicated to enhancing your skating skills. From explosive starts to agile maneuvers, it's the perfect opportunity to gain the edge you've been seeking. And that's not all. We've added a new camp for 2024, Battleborn's Shooters and Scorers Camp. It's all about honing your finishing and goal scoring skills while elevating your hockey IQ. Whether you're a sharpshooter up front or a blue liner eyeing the net, this camp is your ticket to becoming an unstoppable scoring threat. For those that want the complete experience, our three-day Battleborn Adult Camp is for you. Geared for all levels, you'll undergo an intensive hockey skills improvement program led by coaches with over 100 years of combined professional and semi-pro hockey experience, covering everything from skating, shooting, positional awareness, in-game strategy, and tactics, you'll leave with a solid grasp of fundamental concepts and skills, enhancing your effectiveness as a hockey player. Engage in thoughtfully curated drills and exercises alongside your fellow campers, and just for our adult camp, a complimentary happy hour each day, providing an opportunity to connect with your coaches, teammates, and new friends. Every Battleborn Hockey School camp experience includes a personalized jersey, a detailed report card to track your progress, off-ice mobility sessions, and video analysis of your shot or stride depending on your camp. Ready to elevate your hockey game? Find our camps in California, Nevada, and Utah. Visit BattlebornHockeySchool.com to subscribe to our email newsletter for more details. DJ's Nevada Barbecue was the winner of the 2022 Best in the West Nugget Game Cookout. Located at 8 East Victoria Avenue, Sparks, DJ's Nevada Barbecue has been family-owned and operated for 37 years, serving a award-winning ribs, smoked brisket, and chicken, and old pork kiss with award-winning barbecue sauce. Check out Tri-Tip Tuesdays, Feed Grid Wednesdays, Throwback Thursdays, Fish Fry Friday, and Saturday is their signature seafood board. For catering information and more, go to bjsbbq.com. 
When hunger strikes during the day, head down to the Roundabout Grill Concession here in the ring. Enjoy delicious nachos, hot dogs, pretzels, and more. Wash it down with a tasty beverage brought to you by Morning Distributing and Brewers Gap. Be sure to try the ice rate's Power Play Hazy Session IPA. Please drink responsibly and know when to say when. Be sure to follow the ice Raiders on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Reno Ice Raiders. And of course, follow us on YouTube for highlights of today's game. Maxwell's Barbershop provides expert haircuts, precise haircuts, and close straight razor shades at fair prices. Maxwell's Barbershop is open by appointment only, Tuesday through Saturday. No frills, no yes, just good old school barber. Maxwell's Barbershop is on 2nd Street for Wells in downtown Reno and at maxwellsreno.com. Nevada Retinal Associates was founded in 1994. They commonly treat conditions related to retinal vascular conditions, diabetes, genetic conditions, and trauma. The physicians routinely perform in-office procedures at their renal and Carson City locations and surgical procedures in the operating room at local hospitals. The mission of Nevada Retinal Associates and staff is to provide state-of-the-art treatment, unequal service, and compassionate, outstanding care for their patients. For more info, go to NevadaRetina.com.
Fans, make sure you buy more 50 50 drawing tickets. Tickets are still available at the entrance table in the main lobby. Also, today is your last chance to get any discounted merchandise out of the bargain bin. Head on down to that main concourse and get ready for spring with your Ice Raiders t shirts and polos. Getting ready to start the second period. Your first period stats brought to you by Tom Jekyll. 17 shots on net by the Barracudas. 15 for Reno. Big difference is four went in for Reno. Reno 0 for 2 on the power play. Wait a second, Tom. Let's see. No, they are 1 for 2. They are still working on their second power play right now. Ice Raiders winning the draws tonight. 19 and 11. Julian Herrera, 6-0. It is my pleasure to welcome into the box, making his color commentary debut, my good friend, my neighbor, Colin Black. Hi, Colin. How's it going tonight, Philip? It's going well. Ice Raiders up 4-1. You've seen Colin in Ice Raiders games many times before, and we're still waiting on Justice, here we go. Welcome back to the ice, your Reno Renegades. He's been helping out in the penalty box. He helps out at the front door. And he's got plenty of playing experience. Colin, tell everybody about your days playing goalie at the old Meadowood Mall. Well, yeah, like you said, I grew up playing goalie, defenseman, kind of playing a little bit here and there. When I went to college, wound up playing pickup down in Southern California. It was a good time. Remind me where you played in Southern California. I know, it's been a while since we've had this chat. No, sorry, I meant south of San Francisco, down in Menlo College. Oh, okay, that's still Central California. Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely, you're right. Right on. All right, so this is gonna be fun, having Colin in the box, seeing what I don't, looking at the rest of the play. We'll do your NHL update, brought to you by Taste of Chicago in the second intermission. Kevin Slattery and Chris Brayson are your officials tonight. Jacob Fillion and John Rossi on the lines. Kevin Slattery 
drops the puck and the second period is underway. Ice Raiders working on the power play. And the box for slashing is Tim Hoffenkamp. Ice Raiders now skating from right to left. From where I'm sitting, where you are, that would be left to right. Andrew Peterson connects to Garrity on the outlet. Garrity shoots, and a rebound is loose. When we can't see it, I know it's uh, kind of counterintuitive to look to our right at our monitor when the action is to the left, but lots of action and bodies in front, and Jim's eye in the sky catching it all. Johnny Garrity again with a shot and a save made by Wydock. I think the Raiders are skating well tonight, Philip. Honestly, if they skate like this the rest of the game, they should have no reason to not to put this away. They've definitely got some hop in their step. They know it's the last game of the season. And they want to perform well in front of their fans. Face off to the left of the Barracuda's netminder is one back by Reno. Actually, it was flipped out by the Barracudas, and it lands on Nash's stick. I beg your pardon. I totally miscalled that. Here's Morgan Ellis. Gives it over to first sign, left wing. Sign down low for Watson. Watson feeds it in front, and it comes into the middle, and they score! That wasn't a goal. That's the goal. I'm trying here. Jeff Geron with the Brewers cabinet power play goal. The defenseman jumping down into the play at 1850. What'd you see there, Colin? Looked like it was garbage time there, Phillip, with the Raiders cleaning up the loose puck in the front, and putting it in the back of the net. Renegades goal scored by number 20, Jeff McDaddy Jerron. Assisted by number four, Red Hot Bobby Watson. Time of the Brewers' cabinet power play goal, 18.50. Renegades goal scored on the Brewers' cabinet power play by number 20, Jeff Jerron. Assisted by number four, Bobby Watson. Time of the goal, 18.50. I love garbage time. That's the easiest time to pick things up. Held in by Weston Nash on the right side. And it's cleared out by the Barracudas. This will go for icing. Colin, what's been one of your favorite memories of this season? That's a tough question, Philip. There's been so many different games that I've been to this year. It's kind of hard to say. We'll come back to that one. Think about that one. That's kind of going to be my question for everybody. It's also hard to remember. Everything's a blur. So many games, so many goals. Honestly, for me, it's been the feeling of coming to the rink every night. It's knowing you're going to hang out with your buddies and that you're going to hang out with them afterwards. And it's the, uh, it's the family that we've built here with this Ice Raiders organization. And right now our family is up five to one. And we're only two and a half minutes into the second period. Traffic in front, and I, uh, Renegade got knocked down. Puck is loose on the doorstep and we're gonna get a penalty here. And I wonder if that was an interference call coming from whoever got dumped down there. Cross check is the call. Oh yeah, absolutely getting leveled was Julian Herrera. Forty-two gets the cross check. That's seventeen twenty-two. So this is the third power play. They are one for two. Are the Ice Raiders? Barracuda's penalty to number forty-two, Grant Dinkins. Cross checking. Time of the penalty, 17-22. Make some noise for Renegades fans. Your Ice Raiders are on another Brewers cabinet power play. Alex Gano dangles through everybody, but couldn't get the shot away. He gets it up the half wall for Hogue. 
pinching in to help out was Hutchison. It comes to Hogue down low and his shot to flex out of play. Shot deflected out of play. We'll take the face off back down in the Barracuda zone. I forgot to give you guys your scoring recap from that first period. I think with a five goal lead, that's safe to do. But we are on the power play, so I'll wait till there is another whistle. I promised I would get you that, and it is coming. Especially since Tom Jekyll's stat sheet is a lot easier to read than mine. Ice Raiders working around the perimeter. Working the umbrella power play with Hutch, Fogagrin, and now down low for Hogue. Nathan Hogue changes the point of attack for Peterson. Peterson sauces it over, but that pass was telegraphed and knocked away by Tim Hoffenkamp. Right in front of us, so I thought Roger Hutchison was going to staple Wayne Johns into the boards, but Johns turned away. 45 seconds to go on the PWM PK. Then the Ice Raiders on the attack. Sent across, misses Matt Robinson. Johnny Garrity. Had it in the corner, lost it. Jerron holds it in with a skate over for Nash. Nash didn't have a shooting lane. There was a Barracuda in his way. Held in on the blue line, but Fillion says no, it's out. From my angle, it definitely looked like the puck was held in, but it's coming just outside the zone for the drop, Philip. It was close, and there might have been a body in Jacob's way. Let's see, Jim's angle is better. Yeah, not going to be able to tell from Jim's angle either because of the white tape on Jerron's stick and where the heel was in relation to the puck in the blue line. Faceoff is won by the Barracuda's glove down after Nash tried to send it in deep. Tom Jekyll says it came out and he's up top and right in between the red and the blue line. So good on Jacob for getting that one right. Jerron didn't put up much of a fight either uh, as now Jerron's got to hustle back it's a two-on-one developing the other way. Full strength Manfield. And then Jerron sends the Barracuda into the boards. Barracudas get it back. They fan on a shot. And Matt Robinson got his pocket pick. Now it's a three-on-two the other way. Johnny Garrity has it poked away. And right now this period has been all about defense in the first five minutes, Colin. Yes, sir. Sorry, sorry. There was a shot, a takeaway and a shot on net. Uh, you were about to say about the defense. Oh, defense is the name of the game. Without it, you kind of lose games. Puck is launched into the Ice Raiders bench. Sorry, I, we only have the one mic. And I was like, hey, Colin, say something. And I was like, no, wait, you can't, because there was a turnover down low. Uh, your scoring recap, Bobby Watson got things going two minutes in. Weston Nash and Hutch getting the helpers. Renegades answered. No, I'm sorry, the Renegades got the second goal, Tony Tyrell with a wrister right in the slot. Then Tim Hoffenkamp got the Barracudas on the board. That made it 2-1. Nathan Hogue at 10 minutes of the first with his shot down low, assisted by Foggergren and Hutch. And then Bobby Watson with a highlight goal of the weekend going upstairs after knifing his way through the defense. Made it 5-1. And that's where we stay stand right now. More defensive prowess by the Ice Raiders in their zone, taking the puck away. Watson had it poked away, or he left it on purpose. Now it comes back for Tyrell, looking back door for Barba, cheating in. And it just goes off of Barba's heel and wide. Bobby Watson, nice move to get the puck over to Tyrell. Tyrell will whip it into the corner for Barba. Now for Sign, Barba gets it back. Barba is hounded for Watson now. Watson seemingly indestructible some pushing and shoving while Watson's down more pushing and shoving from Barba and nothing's getting called they're letting him play Hunter sign with it sign cuts to the middle and a save is made by Wydock rebound still loose on the crease bodies everywhere and then barreling through was Tyrell Watson and now we're going to have some dancers Tyrell pushing and shoving 
Tyrell wants a piece of somebody, and then he grabs the goalie's bucket and rips it off. Tony Tyrell just ripped the helmet off a of white off. Watson is going back to the bench and is still jawing with Chase Deacon. Not the first time Tyrell has gone after a goalie. He did it in Breckenridge as well. And we will see how this shakes out. From the looks of it, Bobby, was Wat Bobby Watson was jawing with the other play because it looks like he might have gotten cross-checked when he's down on his knees. But... It's just going to be a minute while we get this course sorted out, folks. Well, I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. Uh, only Tony Tyrell gets the penalty. Renegades penalty to number six, Tony Tyrell. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 13-26. Renegades penalty to number six, Tony Tyrell. Two minutes roughing. Time of the penalty, 13-26. Well, Bobby Watson certainly took exception to something. Tony, did you hurt yourself ripping off the goalie's helmet? No, okay. He was trying to get a goalie fight going. You want? I don't think Justice fights. Justice is a lover, yeah? So, he, he had a chance in Colorado, he says. I always love chatting with Tony Tyrell. Colin, did you see anything else fishy on all that? There was kind of a lot going on. It was kind of a blur with everything going on with that face there. Yeah, bodies everywhere. So it's a Peterson Wealth Management penalty kill as the Barracudas get a shot away from the right point and it's easily seen and stopped by Giori. And what was I saying earlier, boys and girls, if you were paying attention about point shots from the point, that the goalie's gonna come over and see that cleanly and make the stop instead of walking it to the middle. Not to take away from any of the times that Nash and Geron have fired bombs with traffic in front. Colin, as a goalie, would you rather see shots from the middle or the points? As a goalie, for me, it didn't really matter as long as I had a clear sight line. With traffic in front, it was definitely a little more difficult trying to peek around. But as long as you're in a good position and come out to the top of the crease, you're pretty much squaring it away. Uh, shot is into the glove of Giori. That was right in the slot, and just like you said, Colin, he saw it cleanly and makes the save. And the defender back there is Gano, and that's something that you talk about with your with your defender or your defenseman. Hey, don't try to go down and block it. I'd rather see the shot. Yes. Correct, Philip. Anytime a defenseman goes down, unless they're trying to take a shot from the body, it kind of gets in the way. Ice Raiders get a clear with just over a minute to go in the PWMPK and seven and a half gone by in, in an eventful second period. All kinds of different faces and bodies. I'm not used to all the country hats here. And uh, I smelled mustard. Oh, Roger Hutchison with a giant hit on Kyle Holland and Holland is gonna need some medical attention. And they're going to blow this down because Holland is hurt. That was a big, clean hit by Hutch. And let's see if the Barracudas have an answer for that. No penalty on the play. Absolutely a clean hit. Uh, Jim already cast the replay. It was quick. Did you see anything else, Colin? I couldn't see anything after the hit. Well, someone on the Barracuda's bench is giving the refs or the Ice Raiders an ear's worth. Here is that replay again. Well, I, he, had, he had just let go of the puck. He was still eligible to be hit, and he was side. He was. It's another one of those east-west, northwest hits. Hit. Looks like he slipped, and Hutch went to hit him, and he kind of hip-checked his head. Yeah, if, it, if the guy's going down when the hit's coming, it, 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 
you don't get to brace for the impact. No, it happened so fast. It was one of those incidental things that just kind of got out of hand. Uh, well, I was waiting for uh, the injury to stop and everyone to figure out what's going on. Faceoff is going to come out to the neutral zone. You don't like to play music when a guy's hurt. Nobody else is in the box. Let's see. And there's one missing uh, for the Barracudas. And they finally figure that out and throw him over to the boards. Rutger Kessling, the last man out. It kind of looks like the player just lost his edge when he was going down and got hit. Nice work, Jim, too, to uh, keep throwing up that replay so we could give it a look. For you Barracudas fans. Oh, wait, here's a breakaway 2 on 0. Oh. Garrett E to Minton. They score! Minty fresh with the shorty. Looks like it was a little tic tac toe back and forth until it hit the net. Well, last week, they worked a 2 on 0 and it was Minty who gave it back to Garrity. Tonight, it's Garrity who gives it back to Minty for the shorthanded goal. And are they, I thought there was a problem with the door. I thought maybe they were going to send their boy to the locker room. The Barracudas, that is. Renegades goal scored shorthanded by number 21, Jake Minty Fresh Minton. Assisted by number 25, Johnny Hockey. Time of the goal, 11.48. Renegades goal scored shorthanded by number 21, Jake Minton. Assisted by number 25, Jake Minton. Johnny Garrity. Time of the goal, 11.48. 6-1. In the second period. Garrity and Minton coming together. Garrity. Has the puck on his stick, left wing, tried to kick it ahead to himself as it rolled away. And then Morgan Ellis knocks uh, Barracuda off the puck, allowing Matt Robinson to get it into the corner. Full strength Reno, I forgot to play the power up, my bad. I think with a 6-1 lead, they kind of get it. Matt Robinson into the middle for Nash, whose shot is knocked away by Whitehawk. Weston Nash with a great A look in the slot, Colin. Yes, sir. It's always nice when you can get a clean shot off without a body in the middle. And Weston Nash with another look. And it sails wide. Morgan Ellis covering the point. Nearly got it in deep. And then Morgan Ellis drops Kevin Ely. And it is going to be an interference call, I think, against Ellis. I thought... Let's see. Yeah, because he had already let go of the puck. Roughing is the call. Never mind, not interference. And the fans don't like that. 10-16, the time of the penalty. Renegades penalty to number 81, Morgan Ellis. Two minutes. Roughing, time of the penalty, 10-16. Renegades penalty, number 81, Morgan Ellis. Two minutes, roughing, time of the penalty. 10-16. When do the fans ever really like a penalty pond on their home team? Valid point. Five on four, skating, and Bobby Watson nearly gets a shorty for the Ice Raiders. Hunter Sign rides a Barracuda into the boards. Well, that, that could have been the uh, Kelly Brothers painting paint job of the night. Working a two-on-one the other way is Watson and Tyrell. Watson for Tyrell, but the pass was behind him. And Tyrell spins away from pressure. Right in front, a shot scores! Tyrell short-handed! Tyrell with two goals tonight. And the Ice Raiders dominating, 7-1. Tyrell with the quick poke and the feed from Watson from behind the net. Fans here are going crazy. The young shepherd on 10 toes also with a helper. 
and Wydock is giving way to Messick at 9.42. Why not gave it his all? And Messick inherits a six goal deficit. And because of the late line change, the centerman for the Barracudas gets kicked out. Nice call by Jacob Fillion there. Renegade's goal scored short handed by Tony the Tornado Tyrell. Assisted by number four, Red Hot Bobby Watson, and number two, Hunter Sign. Time of the goal, 9.42. Another dynamite TNT yard service goal, and that goal song brought to you by Taste of Chicago. Ice Raiders hold the zone. I don't think the Ice Raiders know that they're killing a penalty, Colin. I don't think they do either. They keep applying pressure on to the Barracudas, and frankly, it's it's kind of interesting to watch. Well, with that much more open space, too, to operate, uh, sometimes that passing lane opens up even for your own guy. As well, I thought players were going to come together, someone's without a stick, and that is Tony Tyrell, and the Barracuda actually stepped on the stick. Tony Tyrell, check your lumber. Make sure it's not sliced up. A uh, shot and a save made by Giori, who's been a little lonely down there. A uh, shot from the right point goes through and comes back to the left point. From the right side. Full strength, Renegades. Renegades get it in deep with just over eight minutes to go in the second period. Three goals all by the home team in this Second period. Barracudas charged down the middle, but a good back checking stick by O'Dowd prevents a shot on net. The other way, Julian Herrera. Herrera charges it right up the gut. He sends it back for Montgomery, but Montgomery had already overskated where the puck was going to be, or the puck was sent to, I should say. Uh, more, another great back checking effort. By the Ice Raiders, Colin. Four white jerseys collapsing on the one blue jersey in the slot. The Barracudas are looking like they're a little gassed here. I think the Ice Raiders are just kind of out skating them this period. And I forgot to check the elevation in Mansfield, Texas. As the puck comes in front and Alex Cano makes the safe play to send it behind the goal line. Watch this. Hey, Siri, what's the elevation in Mansfield, Texas? Oh, Siri's not paying attention. She's tied into the game, too. Somebody want to look that up if you've got extra windows on your browser there? Oh, no, I don't mean you guys in the box on your phones, but if you want to, I'm just curious how many people actually listen to what I'm saying sometimes. Like that one fan who watches us on mute. Julian Herrera gets it in front, and O'Dowd scores! O'Dowd with his first of his Ice Raiders career. Fighting for that loose puck. And it's 8-1 Reno. We're going to need a new puck because he gets to keep that one. Wow, the elevation in Mansfield is barely 600 feet. Yeah, they probably are gas calling. Did, uh, oh. <laughs> Well, let's see if they figure this out. Or did they already grab it? Way to go! <laughs> That's what I was hoping, yes. All right. <laughs> Danny's doing a fine job here in the box. I, I love... <laughs> You got, you got to love a kid who does exactly what he's told when he's, when he does it, and we're all giggling down here because, uh, 97 from who? I didn't get the assists. 
Uh, Tom will let us know in a moment, and then I'll make the proper announcement for his first as an ice raider. Thank you, Tom. Uh, or it would be 56. It might be, uh, it would have been Julian Herrera. 56 and 5. There we go. Renegade goal. The first ever goal scored by number 97, Ellis O'Dowd. Assisted by number 56, Julian Herrera. And number five, Charlie Montgomery. Time of the goal, 646. Renegade's goal, his first career goal as an ice raider, scored by number 97, Ellis O'Dowd. Assisted by number 56, Julian Herrera. And number five, Charlie Montgomery. Time of the goal, 646. That's another TNT Archer's goal, and that goal song brought to you by Taste of Chicago. I think we've said that enough tonight, but we do sincerely thank Taste of Chicago and TNT Yard Service for their generous support all season long. Yeah, Tony Tyrell, a chance for a trick. Bobby Watson has won. Wow, we've got seven different goal scorers then for your Ice Raiders and a slew of assists. Good luck, Tom, trying to figure out who our three stars of the game are going to be tonight. I see you laughing up there. Five and a half to go, second period. And the fans have been treated to a lot of action early. And things have quieted down a little bit. We'll try to pump them up with some fun music. Here comes Jeff Jerron with a bomb, and it's into the crest of Messick and dropped play continues. From the left corner. The Barracudas get it out to Michael Tatum, and it's stolen by Nash. Nash ahead for Watson, come through the neutral zone. Watson cuts left, shoots right, and a glove save by Messick. That's always kind of a tough save, going from left to right and having to leave your glove hands kind of hanging behind so you can make sure you catch the bucks, so. We go so much going on tonight tons of goals tons of love Bobby Watson thought he was gonna pull the trigger and now Barba gets it down low for sign and his shot deflects off of bodies and goes into the corner Barracuda's with it the other way They will dump it around. That was awkward. Is he going to the bench for a change? He is. What a held possession and uh, giving it to someone and then made your way to the bench or skated in that direction and then dumped it. That was super awkward. Ice Raiders take it away. Tyrell sends it around for Ellis. Ellis is surrounded by three Aqua jerseys. He finds Hunter Sign on the opposite side. Hunter Sign plays it through his feet but can't get around the D, sends it in front. And now we'll come back to Watson covering the point. Right side for Barba. Barba down low for a redirect, and it goes wide. Tree, tree, tree to go in the second period. And the Barracuda's managed to take it away. Well, right there is Morgan Ellis to poke it off the Barracuda stick as Vaughn Harder falls through the neutral zone. Watson the other way, but this is offside. Fans, if you want to take home these game-worn white Renegades jerseys, the jersey auction will be ending soon. Make your way down to the table by the Brewers cabinet tent and place your pins now. The bidding will end at the end of the second period. Ice Raiders win the draw. Peterson rims it around the boards. And it's sent around by the netminder, Messick, and cleared out by the Barracudas. No icing. And Herrera reverses play away from the Barracudas. Charlie Montgomery looks around, sees help in the form of Gano on the right side. Get pass was 
a little too soft and behind Gano, or maybe it's stuck to the ice here late. Gano gets pasted, pops right back up. And now some pushing and shoving down low. Herrera, and a bucket gets ripped off. And they are grappling, and they're not, are they gonna go? Well, Herrera throws a right. He throws another right, drags the jersey off. And they are still wrestling behind the net. And then finally, Herrera lands on top of the Barracuda. So these should be fives for fighting. Herrera took exception to the palm in the face, so he's getting pinned to the boards, ladies and gentlemen. So we're at five minute matching majors on 42 and 56 Herrera. Ice Raiders penalty to number 56, Julian Herrera. And Barracuda's penalty to number 42, Grant Deacon. Five minutes each for fighting, time of the penalties, 240. So they'll, they'll be out at 17.40 in a whistle of the third period. We'll sort that out later for Jeff and Jeremy working the penalty boxes. Just over two minutes to go in the second period. Ice Raiders with a dominant performance offensively and defensively tonight. Nathan Hogue for Roger Hutchison. Hutchison surveys the scene. He's got Hogue in the middle, but it was deflected away by a Barracuda stick. Into the zone and offside against Barracudas. Fans, time is ticking away. Less than two minutes left if you want one of these sweet Renegades white jerseys. Go place your bid right now. The auction will end promptly at the end of the second period. Ellis O'Dowd with Morgan Ellis on a line. Yeah, I was kind of actually worried about that, Brendan, if that was going to be a thing. Or even throw uh, Tyrell on there. Tyrell Ellis Ellis. Tyrellis. We could just combine the two. But then you'd have a trellis, and then you'd have to, like, grow vines on it or something. Absolutely, Philip. I got to tell you, the dad jokes are lovely. Oh, I got to throw everything out. It's the last game. Behind the net, the Ice Raiders have it, and thrown in front for Minton, and he's still actually, yeah, that is Minton, I beg your pardon, he's still got a shot away, and it's cleared by the Barracudas. Will it go for icing? Yes, it will. In a game like this, when it starts getting kind of out of control, things start to get a little chippy by the other team. Hopefully we don't have that turn into one of those scenarios. Uh, we just want to see the line of the game finish clean. We don't need any extras. I know some people want to see Roger throw hands one last time. Again, or I said Otelli Rao throw hands again, or Herrera throw hands again. Right, uh, Minty Fresh couldn't get a shot away because of the active sticks of the Barracuda defense. And then Minton lifts the stick of a Barracuda. And that sent the puck all the way back. Minty Fresh still back checking and hooking. One minute remaining in the second period. And a bouncing puck goes off of the body of Giori. And the Ice Raiders will send it off the Barracudas to Johnny Garrity. Minty changing behind the play. Ice Raiders can't hold the zone. And they entered the zone, but offside. Ellis, Ellis, Tyrellis. I'll have to tell that one to Shoshana when she gets back. Wow. 
Faceoff is won by the Barracudas. They clear it right back to Adam Barba with just over 30 seconds to go in the period. Ahead uh, for Hunter Sign. Sign right side. His sharp angle shot is saved by Messick. And no rebound. He gets a whistle. You think he was shooting for a rebound on the leg pad and it just got too high, Colin? That's a good possibility. Every now and then, things just kind of get away from you. Coach always told me if you're coming down the wing, shoot for the leg pad, create a rebound, and you better have somebody charging the slot for that rebound. Yeah, oftentimes as a goalie, you're trying not to kick out the rebound to the center, but from that angle, you got to have any other choice but to. Well, that one goes in as well over the glove. And it's 9-1 Reno. Play developed quickly from behind the net. Two ice raiders were going to the net. And it's the young shepherd from Red Hot, Bobby Watson. We'll have to add that up. 15 seconds to go. Fans are not counting down the time, they're counting up the goals. And we are at a nine spot. Renegades goal scored by the young shepherd, number two, Hunter Sign. Assisted by number four, Bobby Watson. Time of goal, 18 seconds. Renegades TMT yard service goal scored by number two, Hunter Sign, assisted by Bobby Watson. Time of the goal, 18 seconds. Uh, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, yes. Let's see, who's over here? Uh, I want to interview somebody. Jim, let's keep it right here. And uh, we'll get you at the end. Let's get, uh, we'll get Johnny Hockey over here. We got to have our intermission interview with the Nest. Johnny, we got a, we got quite a tilt here. What, what do you attribute this offensive explosion to tonight? Uh, we just, we're an offensive powerhouse all around. We got a lot of good, good forwards, good players on defense too. Just very good offensive team. So it's bound to happen to, you know, put up a bunch of goals like this. One of these games yesterday probably should have happened, but you know, we're uh, capitalizing on our opportunities today. Last week, you and Minton worked a two on O and he fed it to you. And today you got to return the favor. Yeah, it was like uh, deja vu there. We just switched spots a little bit and, uh, Worked out well. It's uh, always love playing with Minty, and it's good to have Matty Robb on our line. So uh, just keep buzzing and finish out the last period of the season here strong. Glad to have you as an ice raider again. Let's finish the 20 minutes strong. Like you said, we'll see you in the third. Thanks, Phil. Appreciate it. Thank you, Johnny Hockey. Our intermission interview brought to you by the Nest. I had to talk to somebody. Uh, the hat is Zeph's. The jacket and the tie are courtesy of the Nest. Big thanks, Colin Black, helping me out here, helping me rest the voice for the second period. We will take a timeout and handle business, handle the auction as well. Stick around for the third period. Uh, let's see, can we interview O'Dowd? That's a good question. We'll, well, we might do a pass the mic thing uh, at the end of the game, we'll see how the players feel at the end. Big thanks to Key Accu Reno for making this game happen, this weekend happen. Our other fine sponsors, Nevada Retina, Alley Bits Photography, Opening Solutions, LLC, Cure Biomedical, and Peterson Wealth Management. We'll step aside, catch our breath, head to the fridge for your Brewer's Cabinet Power Play IPA, the last ones of the season. And we'll bring you the third period in just a bit. extra help around the restaurant, so we hired some new staff. It's going good. Hey, Maddie, give me two bucks. A side of sticks and a cold one. Make it fast. Coming right up. Hey, can we get the baseball game on? 
No. It'd be a lot easier if you just drop the gloves. Oh, you want to go, buddy? I'm going to need a Zamboni. Hey, can I get a water? Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Here you go, my man. I guess just like our beer, hockey is better on ice. Battleborn Hockey School is back. The West premier hockey camp for adults and kids. We're thrilled to announce the return of one of our most popular camps, Battleborn Hockey School's Power Skating Camp. This two-day program, designed for both adults and kids, is dedicated to enhancing your skating skills. From explosive starts to agile maneuvers, it's the perfect opportunity to gain the edge you've been seeking. And that's not all. We've added a new camp for 2024, Battleborn's Shooters and Scorers Camp. It's all about honing your finishing and goal scoring skills while elevating your hockey IQ. Whether you're a sharpshooter up front or a blue liner eyeing the net, this camp is your ticket to becoming an unstoppable scoring threat. For those that want the complete experience, our three-day Battleborn Adult Camp is for you. Geared for all levels, you'll undergo an intensive hockey skills improvement program led by coaches with over 100 years of combined professional and semi-pro hockey experience, covering everything from skating, shooting, positional awareness, in-game strategy, and tactics, you'll leave with a solid grasp of fundamental concepts and skills, enhancing your effectiveness as a hockey player. Engage in thoughtfully curated drills and exercises alongside your fellow campers, and just for our adult camp, a complimentary happy hour each day, providing an opportunity to connect with your coaches, teammates, and new friends. Every Battleborn Hockey School camp experience includes a personalized jersey, a detailed report card to track your progress, off-ice mobility sessions, and video analysis of your shot or stride depending on your camp. Ready to elevate your hockey game? Find our camps in California, Nevada, and Utah. Visit BattlebornHockeySchool.com to subscribe to our email newsletter for more details. Number 97 goes to Braden Byclef. Max Bitz. You get Jeff Jerome's number 20. Congratulations, Max Fitz. Sherry P, you get Alex Godot's number 13. Thomas F, you've won Nathan Hogue's number 10. And whoever bid $220 on Adam Barba's number 11, I think this is Joshua.
okay. Okay, thank you. Are we ready for our NHL update? Brought to you by Taste of Chicago. We are. Fun times in Pittsburgh today. Actually, scary times. A referee collided with a lightning player, and was the referee was knocked unconscious. He had to be carted off. They finished the game with only one ref. Penguins ended up winning a thriller, 5-4. Bruins outlast the Panthers in OT, 3-2. Couple of upsets to report. The uh, Hawks down the Stars three to two. The Jets defeat the Wild. The Sharks beat the Blues, thwarting their playoff chances. Jackets down the Flyers six two. Leafs big winners over the Canadians four to two. Devils down the Senators four to three. Islanders shut out the Preds two nothing. Oil beat the Flames four to two, and the Kings big winners over the Canucks six to three. That's your NHL update brought to you by Taste of Chicago. Please welcome back to the ice for the last time this season, your Reno Renegades. Colin Black's going to join me for the third period. 17.40 and a whistle. 17. Julian Herrera will be out at 17.40 and a whistle. Hey, Julian, slide over. Talk to me a second. Hey, what started all that nonsense behind the net? Uh, I kind of grabbed him by his, his bubble, and then he got me back a little bit, and then... I couldn't tell if he actually wanted to go, and he's like, you want it? So I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. It, was, it wasn't a very good fight, though. I need to work on that this summer. Summer resolution. Do you want to start the Battleborn Hockey Fighting Camp? I'd love to, but I don't know if I'm the best uh, fighter on the team. I think Tony or uh, Roger should be in charge of that. All right, here we go, starting the third period. Thank you, Julian Herrera. Oh, you got to shut the door. Julian Herrera's got duties now. And now we can start the third period brought to you by the Brewers cabinet right at the expiration of Hangar 18 by Megadeth. 1740 and a whistle is when everybody's out. 1740. So we have a goalie change. And I should have announced it at the beginning of the period. Uh, as I had anticipated. If this game got out of hand, that Perry Jacobs would make his debut in Nat Farino, the 20 year old from Oakland makes his first save and stick taps all around for the Ice Raiders bench. Your attention, please. Now in net for your Renegades, Perry Jacobs. He's wearing number one, not number 30. I changed it on the wrong roster. That's why I was like, wait a second. And he makes his first save. I'm not supposed to announce that he's relieving a guy, right? It's not like soccer where coming out of the game just as Jory is and then coming in is whatever, right? I think it could kind of go either way, but you're always nice to uh, get the announcement in. Uh-oh, Roger Hutchison's hurt. That got him on the top of the knee, and he is not getting up. Roger Hutchison absolutely sacrifices the body comes out, see if we can pick up where the puck gets him. Oh, got him right on the kneecap. Uh, so, number 16, Chase Deacon for the Barracudas. His night is done. He was the one who got crunched by Hutch. And the hockey gods are returning the favor. And Roger Hutchison is in a heap of pain. That was a hard slap shot from the point. And he blocked it on either the top of the, even on the kneecap, the way he's going down on that play, or there is, there's that little bit of space between the kneecap 
and the pad. Colin and I are both making that same three inch motion. Right between the kneecap itself and the lower portion, or yeah, between the pants and the knee itself. It's kind of hard to tell from the replay, Philip. Yeah, that was a laser of a shot. Everybody looking on concerned here. The normally impervious Roger Hutchison. Hopefully just can't feel it. Hopefully it's just a deep bruise and nothing major. He's on his knees. And now he is on his legs with some pressure. Well, let's see, uh, and he's gonna go to the bench. Roger Hutchison, the Bulldog. Bounces right back. Colin, you're also a baseball catcher. I'm sure you've taken plenty of foul tips in that general area. Uh, how long does it take for the feeling to come back to your foot? Uh, if it does, it kind of depends on the severity of the blow. I'll tell you what, it's definitely not fun either way. Foul tips to the face, the arms, the shins, you kind of get beat up as a catcher all the way around, man. That's why I played outfield. A minute gone by in the third period. Bobby Watson has it knocked off of his stick. And the Ice Raiders steal it back as Jerron's drive goes off the stick of a Barracuda defender. And the Ice Raiders maintain possession. Thrown towards the net, misses Montgomery. With it is O'Dowd. O'Dowd's wrister is saved by Messick. And there is no rebound. I'll tell you what, Philip, the worst thing you can do with a shot like that is let it tighten up. The best thing you can do is probably get back out on the ice and keep it as loose as possible. Oh, you're talking about Hudson's leg. Uh, let's see if he's resting, standing, or walking down there. Can't see the other end because that bench is to the left and our action is to the right. Montgomery leaves it for Watson. Gives it back to Montgomery. Watson on the half wall for Jerron's one-timer deflects off a stick into the corner. Unfortunately, that will not be a live stream for the Can-Am games. So you'll have to make your way to Reno and, <coughs> excuse me, purchase a ticket and uh, attend yourself. Just barely off sides, a toe drag past. Oh yeah, that's my cue. Normally Chris Payne plays all the music. Bobby Watson, a five point night. Is that what we had on the stats there, Tom? Bobby Watson, two goals, three assists. Tony Tyrell with a pair of goals. He's a plus three. Weston Nash is a plus four. As it's sent in on Jacobs, and he leaves it for his defense. Johnny Garrity with two assists on the night. And the puck bounces around the neutral zone. Penalty box door was opening, but it wasn't time to let him out because we haven't had a whistle since the 1740 mark. Peterson pokes it ahead for Minton. Minton tried to sidestep and dangle, lost the handle. Barracuda is clear. Fans still chanting, let's go Reno with their team up nine to one. They're getting in their last licks as well. The Can-Am games, a friendly tilt between some local Americans and some Canadian imports. That'll be a fun weekend. And now Matt Robinson with Garrity. Robinson for Garrity! And the pass couldn't connect. Puck comes all the way back to Tyrell in his own zone. Tyrell for Sign, filling in on the defensive point after uh, rotation. Garrity will chip it in deep. And then Sign collects with, connect, excuse me, collides with the linesman. That's where he's supposed to be, right inside the zone. I know, because I'm refing now. And then Tony Tyrell steps up to get a shove on 
Remy Kessling as the puck is shot and deflected out of play. Ice Raiders are one for three on the power play tonight. And the Barracuda's 0 for 2. Faceoffs in that second period. Ice Raiders still dominating that department. A little, a little, sorry. Oh, and Hutch is back out there. Colin noted that first. So the feeling came back, it only took two shifts. Thank goodness it was nothing serious. Uh, as I was saying about faceoffs, Julian Herrera, eight and two. At 80%, that leaves, leads all centermen who have taken more than five draws. Uh, sharp angle shot rolls all the way back out to Adam Barba. Nearly five minutes gone by, third period. Ice Raiders leading convincingly nine to one, and this will be icing against the Barracudas. It's good to see Hutch back out skating. He's looking strong. Able to take a couple of turns, get in on some passes. It's nice to see that nothing was serious, like Phillip said. I'm going to put Tom's comment on blast about my interview with Julian Herrera. That was the most wholesome interview about a fight ever. That's Julian Herrera. Like, he is one of my favorite interviewees and always fun to talk to in the box. And it's really great that these ice raiders are willing to come talk in the box here as Chris Bryson sets a screen and Perry Jacobs shoulders off that shot. Chris Bryson, the referee, and now they get this one over to the glove of Jacobs. And it's nine to two. Looks like he took that unassisted off the deflection. Assisted off of the deflection, and then the referee comes over and says it was a pass from two other people. Barracuda's goal scored by number eight, Remy Kessling, assisted by number 29, Rutger Kessling, and at number 19, Vaughn Harder. Time of the goal, 15-01. Barracuda's goal scored by number eight, Remy Kessling, assisted by number 29, Rutger Kessling, and at number 19, Vaughn Harder. Time of the goal, 15-01. Nine to two. At this time last night, we were already almost completed with the game. The game ended at 10-16. It was a fast one last night, but with 11 goals and 11 penalties, this one's taken a little bit longer. Oh, and he doesn't like this. Oh, he sent it back. The one time Danny tosses the puck over <laughs> into the linesman hand, hand, linesman's hand. It was returned to sender. And Danny's still with a nice catch as well. Try saying that five times fast. Linesman's hands, 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 linesman's hands. I got to practice too. Oh, a chance for Montgomery and a save by Messick. Uh, Montgomery with a little tap on the pads of Messick. Sliding over to prevent the Ice Raiders from getting their 10th. Uh, Montgomery with a little pat on the back and also maybe putting a, a stop to Messick's momentum for just a moment. Face off one by Reno and a drive kicked away by Messick as it was deflected on its way in by the Jerron slap shot. Taken away by the Barracudas through the neutral zone. Weston Nash forces the Barracuda wide. They walk it right in on Jacobs and it goes in the corner. 
Ice Raiders take the puck away from Duran. A slapper from right in the right circle. Might have gone off a stick and wide. Into the left corner it goes. Picked up though by the Reno defense. And Duran will send it through the skates or the stick of a Barracuda. Montgomery had it, had trouble keeping it on his stick. And it goes behind that. Barracudas still fighting for their last game of the season as well. Trying to make something of it. Trying to make some positives at the end of this, Colin. Positives are what it's all about, Philip. Anytime you have a team that's down by that much, to see him skating throughout the whole game, it's really something. Hunter signed with a shot blockered away by Messick. Right, Jan, we've been saying it all season. Hutch might be the toughest player out there. And that's high praise considering where a lot of these guys have played. But for as physical as he plays consistently and sells out the body, that was a shot. And that one might have gone off the face of Messick. Colin, that made a weird plastic sound. It hit the shoulder. Colin saw it hit the shoulder. And Peterson gets it down low for sign for a shot and a blocker or a shoulder save made again. It's a Reno shooting gallery on this shift. Gano plays it off the boards to himself. Gano whips it back for Sign. Sign along the blue line. Might have been trying to feed it back for Gano. Rolls away from him. And the Barracudas are away with it. Sign misses a stick check. Stick check. And the Barracudas carry it behind the Reno net. Sent towards the middle and a one-timer scores. That was a tough stretch for the goalie to be able to come across a crease like that. That's a tough shot to be able to try and stop. Already missed the replay there. Yeah, the puck came at a sharp angle. And it was right on the doorstep. Dusty splits. Came across, did the splits, and it didn't matter. He beat him with a punch. Dusty Whitford with the goal. Renegades, I beg your pardon. Barracuda's goal scored by number 10, Dusty Whitford, assisted by number 29, Rutger Kessling. Time of the goal, 11.56. Barracuda's goal scored by number 10, Dusty Whitford, assisted by number 29, Rutger Kessling. Time of the goal, 11.56. So unofficially, Perry Jacobs, five shots on net, maybe six, and he's had two get by him. Six, I was correct. Thank you, Tom Jekyll, with the uh, sign language. Barracudas get it into the attacking zone again. Eleven seventeen to go in the third period. Matt Robinson leads the charge up ice. Cross ice for Minton. Minton will get it in deep. And Messick rims it around, and no icing here. Everybody lost sight of it. Mitten keeps it away from the Barracudas. Barba will send it to the blue line for Garrity. Along the left side, Matt Robinson tried to find Tony Tyrell in the middle. And now Tyrell on the right side for Foggergren, whose shot is saved with traffic in front. Messick hangs on. I'm still getting used to having a color commentator partner. And I appreciate Colin tolerating me, literally tolerating me tonight. A uh, shot from the left side by Hogue is wide. Or oh, actually, I beg your pardon, that was saved by Messick. I think that went off of his glove. And another shot is saved by Messick. Comes back up high for Hogue and a shot save. And now Foggergren punches it home. Or was that a uh, Barracuda trying to carry it himself? That was Foggerin. All right, I, I couldn't see Foggerin through everybody. I thought maybe the Barracuda was clearing.
You, Colin, you've seen that before where the defenseman will try to clear it and they completely miss the trajectory and they put it in their own net. Absolutely. At that point, it comes a little frustrating in being a goalie. Anytime the defenseman tries to clear it out and they put it into the own net. I had to wait for the fans to count. That's a long way to go for 10 seconds. I keep looking for somebody doing push-ups, but I can't see anybody. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to do push-ups in this suit. No, sir. Ice Raiders have it in the attack again, but it's stolen by the Barracudas and then turned right over to Gano. Gano curls away from pressure, whips it on net. And then an, a shot by O'Dowd is saved. Scrum in front, and it's under the leg pad of Messick. I have just rickrolled the Renegades. <laughs> Colin's got nothing. He's just tight lip laughing. You know this song perfectly matches up also to Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit? You can uh, really rickroll the bar if you put on Smells Like Teen Spirit at the bar and then sing this. Everybody gets confused. Icing against the Barracudas, which means more Rick Astley. See, there's girls dancing up there. See, they like it. As long as there's a couple of people dancing along, I'm doing it right. Yeah, see? You can't not not dance. Wait, can't not dance to Rick Astley. Andrew Peterson dances across the blue line, finds a cutter. It's Ellis O'Dowd and his shot steered away by Messick, and this will be icing again. Well, let's just keep it going. Look, and they're dancing here in the middle underneath. Jim, everybody's in a good mood when your team's up seven goals. And we got dancing going on along boards there too. Those are our super fans, Chad and Cole and company and the Holy Pucks. They offered me a hot dog while uh, they were tailgating outside. I had already had my veggie lasagna. I was good, but I appreciate the gesture from our super fans. Next season, I promise, boys, I'll come out and tailgate with you and uh, come out early. Weather pending, of course. A chance for Montgomery, saved by Messick. Right in the middle of Broadway. We don't have a Broadway in this town. I always say, gotta say Virginia Street. Into the middle forward, Gano. Gano has it knocked away. And the Barracudas can't get it through Gano again. Puck comes to Montgomery in the neutral zone. He'll feed Tyrell, who's looking for the hat trick. He makes a move and lost the handle and nearly snuck it through. Tyrell looking like Bobby Watson. All right, no more Rick Astley. Tyrell looking like Bobby Watson getting through the D. Makes an Alex Gano-like toe drag move, kicked it to himself, and still shoveled the backhander, and Messick had to squeeze the pillows. I gotta tell you, man, Messick's making a hell of an effort out there right now. Being down that much and still playing his heart out, it's really something to watch. Colin, you weren't here last night. He faced 54 shots on net and stopped 50 of them. Another shot by Barba almost snuck through. I don't think Messick saw that because he didn't move until the very last moment. Hunter Sign in the corner finds Barba. And actually in front was Tony Tyrell. So they're trying to set up Tyrell for the trick. And this will not be icing. It was deflected or could have been played by an ice raider. Adam Barba tracks down the loose puck. Evades the sticks of a Barracuda. Stick of a Barracuda. And now Morgan Ellis has it with seven and a half to go. Outlet for Bobby Watson. Patrick! 
Watson curls around the right circle. Puts on the brakes at the goal line. Centering front for Tyrell, and it's a hat trick! Tony Tyrell set up by Watson. Sneaks it under Messick, who didn't even go down and block it. And all the Ice Raiders throw their lids as well, and the referees have to pick up all of our hats. That was a nice little feed from Watson down in the corner, and just a little flick over the stick with Tony Tyrell. Congratulations, Tyrell. Jan, the proud mama, must be through the roof right now in the last Ice Raiders game of the season. Her son gets a hat trick. And the Watson family, I know, watching along as well. Bobby with a six-point night. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy on this squad, too. Renegades goal, a hat trick goal for the Lone Wolf shot rod himself, Tony Tyrell. Assisted by number four, Bobby Watson. And number 81, Morgan Ellis. Time of goal, 7-14. Renegades goal scored by number six, Tony Tyrell. Assisted by Bobby Watson and Morgan Ellis. Time of goal, 7-14. That goal song brought to you by Taste of Chicago, and that was another dynamite TNT yard service goal. At this point, Philip, I think the Barracudas are just looking to get through the rest of the period unscathed. Agreed. Long night for these guys. Long weekend. I didn't ask, uh, didn't have a chance to chat with any of these guys if they flew or drove up. That's a couple of thousand miles from Texas to make the drive. Six and a half to go, third period, 11-3 Reno. And Reno's going to finish this season with 17 home wins. Madness. Well, the Ice Raiders and Ice Raiders fans have made the Jennifer M. Com Jennifer M. O'Neill Community Ice Arena a difficult place to play. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing in the hockey world. Bobby Watson dangling through the defense. His chip shot denied. Turned over in the neutral zone. Ellis gives it right back, though. Barracudas stay on side magically. They get it down low, and it's swept away by Jacobs. Sent up the boards to the right point, thrown on net, but off the stick of sign. And then a shot is saved. The rebound try. They got good wood on it. But well, wouldn't go. Right in the middle, a nice stick lift by Morgan Ellis to take the puck away and then force a Barracuda into the corner. Morgan Ellis in the first period would have shoved back, but with an eight goal lead and an icing call coming, things better of it. It's definitely not easy, Philip. I gotta give you props for everything you do in here. There we go. Uh, funny story. Uh, I found my sixth grade teacher on Facebook and uh, started sending messages back and forth. And I can't wait to tell her that the kid who talked too much in school surprisingly has an announcer job. She'll get a kick out of that, I'm sure. But seriously, folks, with under five minutes to go here, thank you guys all for sticking around on what has been an absolute route by the Raiders. And uh, I want to get my two cents in before it gets too late. Well, actually, let's wait for Bobby Watson's wrister. That's wide and taken by the Barracudas. You guys see how we pack the stands and how the Ice Raiders play, and you know what kind of effort it takes for the Ice Raiders players to to be in this condition and this position to play in front of these fans. And I want to thank everybody behind the scenes that makes this all happen and, and the family that we've created here, starting with the guy sitting next to me, Colin. He shows up every Saturday night because he works four jobs six days a week. 
plus plays and manages a baseball squad. But seriously, Simon LeBlu, Jess Peterson, Adam Barba, Weston Nash, the ownership group, thanks for letting me be me and letting me be the only guy in Reno to do ice hockey play-by-play -play at this level. Also, everyone that runs the front desk, the admissions table, Jess's wife, Chelsea, Ashley Brown, her new boyfriend, Zach, who's been one of the nicest guys ever to have around as well. The sisters, Ashley and Sierra, absolute sweetheart. Who am I missing? All the guys that open the front doors. Jer oh, gosh, Jeremy, who's standing over my left shoulder. I was like, who am I looking around for? When Jeremy's not spilling water all over my laptop at the flowing tide because we're having too much fun. One time, one time. Kevin has been absolutely clutch when it comes to making sure my fit is in proper order. You know, my tie's straight, my jacket looks good, hat's in the right order. Your own personal Giori. A little bit, yes. Into the middle for Barba. Barba's shot deflects off of bodies <clears throat> with three minutes to go. Our statisticians, Shoshana Granite. She's got a family wedding down in Long Beach and Seal Beach. So great having Tom Jekyll for a season and a half now, two seasons, and his expert work. You guys don't see, or you should see, if you go on the Reno Ice Raiders website and you go to the schedule, the PDFs of the game books are published, and the stats are deep. How many times we hit a post? Uh-oh, one-on-one the other way. Into the middle, it bounces, and it's underneath Messick for a whistle. Like, I'm wondering if Tom has 12 fingers because he's got to push who took the shot, who's on the ice, and uh, I don't know how he does that. It's amazing software work. And the coaches and the players really appreciate it because uh, the proof is in the pudding when it comes to the analytics of where shots are taken from, where goals go in, and, and the combinations that work. Plus the stats. Every player likes to tally their stats in a game and after the games as well. And of course, I'd be nothing were it not for Jim Dunnigan. You barracudas folks, uh, I meant to say this earlier, if you think that there's four cameramen up there, it's Jim Dunnigan with a bunch of cameras and a big control deck on running all the sound. So every compliment that comes my way about our broadcasts and our feed, I always try to say, well, it's, it's all Jim Dunnigan as well. Who am I forgetting? Our EMTs that volunteer their time, Dr. Nurse Practitioner Emily Alina of High Sierra Restorative Health. If you guys want to take control of your health, go see her. And then, of course, all of our fine sponsors that I'll rattle off that make this happen. It's not a cheap production that we put on. We're really trying to set the gold standard of what it means to be a semi-pro team in the Mountain Hockey League. As Perry Jacobs can't stop this one. And with 78 seconds left, it's 11-4. It's going to go down as a blowout regardless, but kudos to the Barracudas for fight until the end. Well, so it looks like he was just able to sneak it through his five hole there on that pass. Drop coming back to center ice. Renegades run it back into their own zone. We got Petey coming out from behind the net right now. Gonna play it forward for uh, Gano. Gano skates it through. Coming around the back side of the net. Well done. It's, it takes some practice, doesn't it? Absolutely. One minute remaining in the season. Get on your feet, Renegades fans. It's the last minute of the season. And the fans do rise to their feet for the occasion. And we're all going to try not to cry, Jan. Been through a bunch of these end of season things here, and it uh, 
Well, what's the word? Uh, you just, it doesn't, it doesn't wear, it doesn't thicken you. Roger Hutchison with a shot. Save made by Messick. Foggergren looking for one more. And then Nathan Hogue looking back. And is Hogue going to, oh no, Hogue was watching the puck. I thought he was going to go after a Barracuda. Fans are probably going to count down the time here as well. And then Hogue almost barreled through Wayne Johns. from your Ice Raiders assistant captain. All right, Tom, who's it gonna be for our finals? We could give it to everybody. To your attention, please, we need Blake Nash, Deborah Pilly, Sherry D, and Danny Anderson to pay for your auction winning jerseys. Once again, that is Blake Nash, Deborah Pilly, Sherry Key, and Danny Anderson. Colin, I'm going to have you hand me the mics through here so that way I can do this thing here. Colin, great job. Everybody should give props to Colin. Uh, thank you, Jan. You are absolutely welcome. Colin, I will see you at the Tide when I'm done handling my business. Thank you, buddy. Of course, it was a pleasure to have you, Philip. A pleasure to have me. You're all right. All right, hand me the mics here through this. No, but in all seriousness, thank you very much for having me on, Philip. I really appreciate it. You're a good friend. We'll do our three stars of the game after the team photo here.
Your number three star of the game, scoring his first ever goal as an Ice Raider, number 97, Ellis O'Dowd. Your number two LT Automotive star of the game, with a hat trick and great defensive play, number six, Tony the Tornado Tyler. And your number one star of the game, with six points tonight, Number four, Red Hot, Bobby Watson! Those are your LT Automotive three stars of the game. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a very special message from your assistant captain, number 84, Roger Hutchison! And we just wanted to take a moment to thank you, fans. Um, on behalf of the entire Ice Raiders organization, from the uh, owners, to all the staff, to the trainers, coaches, and especially the players, we just want to thank you fans. You guys are the best fans in the league. We love you guys. Without each and every one of you guys, none of this is possible. We're just grateful for the opportunity to play in front of you guys. And just thank you again for three years of high serious hockey in the very same year. Number 84, Roger Hutchison. Anybody else? On behalf of the entire Ice Raiders organization, oh, wait, wait, wait. We got head coach Tim Duke, laryngitis and all. There you go, Toots. I just want to say, uh, this has been a wonderful experience for the coaching staff and uh, you guys make this place such a wonderful place to play. Uh, I got to play pro and I got to play in front of a lot of fans, but these guys playing in front of you, it's the same thing. You guys bring that same experience, so thank you. Thank you so much. That's a wrap on the 23-24 season, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to all of you, all our season ticket holders, everyone that showed up for every game this season. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Please support all of our fine sponsors, Nevada Retina, Associates, Key Acura, Reno Pinion Bottle Company, Taste of Chicago, Cure Biomedical, and I gotta run through the rest of the list in a moment. Casino, BJ's Barbecue, Opening Solutions, LLC, Kelly Brothers Painting, LT Automotive, Pinion Bottle, Super Forensic Pathology, Spencer Investigations, Allison Bits Photography, Taste of Chicago, Fiori Built Construction, High Sierra House Call, Silver Only Dental, Brewer's Cabinet, and their amazing Power Play IPA, Norm LeBlue and LeBlue's Painting, TM Print Co., Jersey FX, the NorCal Connection, the Bark House, and the Lone Wolf's Chop Rods, and of course, and all of the fine, fine staff here at Jennifer M. Community, oh, Jennifer M. O'Neill Community Ice Arena. Fans, have a wonderful, have a wonderful summer. Be safe, and we will see you back here in the fall. Wow. That's it. That's it. Uh, did I get to say all my thanks? I did. Jim, you like how I did that with five minutes to go so that I wasn't waiting forever so we could get to the bar and finish up? Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you to Chris Payne. It was wonderful working with him again this season. And uh, great job, Danny. First time on the timekeeping tonight. Our statistician, Tom Jekyll, again doing fine work. I don't really think we need to recap the numbers here. 
It was all Ice Raiders from the get-go. Well, we're gonna go hug it out. We're gonna go cry it out. It's the end of the season, and we gotta wait until April, May, June, July, August, September, six and a half months for more live hockey. Thank you, Tom, for your compliment. Ryan Robinson, you're gonna be here next year? You graduating, bud? Play alongside your bro? That'll be fun to watch. And uh, Jan, we're happy to bring this action to you. Oh, look at this, a well-deserved shot of whiskey to close out the se season. Sure, why not? I didn't know you had a beer in your pocket. <laughs> Colin's been hanging on to that beer all night. Oh, it is so time for whiskey now. Jim, I love you, buddy. Uh, if you get called up to the Sacramento Kings full time, hopefully you can find a suitable replacement. I don't think there one exists, but we'll have to try. It's been a wonderful season, ladies and gentlemen, and that's a wrap. We will catch you in six and a half months. Love you all. Good night. <laughs>